meteorologist Dave Nussbaum about what will end up being a smoking hot week, right? <laughs> and not in a good way. Uh, no, not necessarily. But yeah, we are talking about some warm temperatures, pretty hot weather today, but going to get much hotter as the week goes on. A lot of look from our Talladega Super Speedway camera here. A little bit of some light fog even showing up, but otherwise a pretty clear morning there. Temperatures coming in 67 degrees with the dew point 67 and calm winds. That's why we've seen a little bit of fog out there to start off our day today. Uh, nearby Anderson, Oxford area around 67. Gadsden at 64, 65 there. Asheville, we're at 70 here in Birmingham. Alabaster almost at 70 degrees and 71. Tuscaloosa and Mountainville is cool. 63. Jasper, though, back into Hamilton. So on the I-22 corridor, there's your cool air. A, a mostly clear sky here for the most part. We have this front that's moved through. Drier air follows behind it. That front's going to push to the south and stall, but allow us to stay dry out there for the day today, and the weather actually turning out to be pretty nice. So if you're a coffee cast this morning, I say hot brew, but you may want a cold brew coffee, especially later by 11 a.m. as temperatures go from 73 to 86 degrees out there. And then after that, we are talking temperatures in the mid 90s this afternoon. Plentiful sunshine to be a pretty day today, but hot 94 here to Alabaster and Jasper. Same for you in the Fayette area, Tuscaloosa over towards say Northport around 96, Moundville down to Greensboro 95, Asheville Springville, you're at 92, Anderson Oxford 91, Gadsden Rainbow City area there back up toward us. Say uh, Boaz all about 92 degrees. The high Alabaster and Pelham will be uh, in the mid 90s as well. But notice the heat index only a couple degrees above the actual forecast high today. So the humidity is not going to be that bad. So if your ice cream scoop cast today, we are talking about at least two scoops. Uh, 94 degrees are high. You know, later in the week, we're talking three plus scoops. I think we'll need now tomorrow morning. We'll start with some sun, but may actually have a little opportunity for some rain out there. And you can see here on future cast a cluster of storms. MCS as they're called here as that continues to build in here, impacting northwestern Alabama by 10 a.m., potentially getting to Birmingham what's left of it as it dies out here by 1 o'clock. Now, it's a chance we could see this. Hopefully that happens because it'll prevent us from getting too hot initially here through 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And then things start to clear out as we head into Wednesday evening. And as we move forward here, here comes the heat. Big ridge of high pressure building in from the west. Really not going to feel it until Thursday and then sticks around for Friday. We're on the eastern edge of it, so we have the hottest temperatures, but it'll still be pretty hot. Finally, it kind of works its way to the south as we head into the weekend. But look at these temperatures. 100 degrees to 101 on Thursday and Friday. That's the air temperature. Heat index 112, 114 out there. So have a excessive heat. Watch out for areas from Birmingham to the west. And yeah, we have a weather aware. Yeah, we've issued this for heat this time. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with those 100 degree temperatures. Warm nights near 80, so we're not going to cool down much at night. And that dangerous heat index near 115 degrees. So get ready Thursday and Friday and Saturday. Then finally, a break from the heat as the ridge breaks down and we have some rain returning. So at least it gives us those chances for pop-up storms. Chris.